Hey everybody, it's Jack and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a dividend stock video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over several dividend stocks that I think are a buy right now, or should at the very least be added to everyone's watch list going into March 2021. I'm going to walk through five dividend stocks that I think are great for passive income. Not only do they all offer great dividends and have great dividend track records, but they are also trading currently at a discount price. I think their share prices have room for appreciation as well over the next few months to a year. So all of these dividend stocks are great buys and should be added to all of your watch lists at the very least. So let's jump right into it. And the first two stocks I'll be covering are both in the oil and gas sector. The oil and gas sector was hit extremely, extremely hard over the course of the pandemic and has yet to see a full recovery. Both of these stocks are currently rebounding and you're not going to want to miss out on the full recovery. So the first dividend stock to watch is Enbridge, ticker symbol ENB. So at the time of filming this video, Enbridge is currently trading around $44.75 a share and currently offers around a 7.5% dividend. So you're getting a really nice dividend with the stock. And if we look at the six month chart, you can see that Enbridge took a really big hit a few months ago but it's been recovering extremely, extremely well over the past three months. And if we go to the one year chart, we can see that pre pandemic on in March, it was trading around $51 a share. And since then it went sideways and now has been seeing that recovery. And I think it's going to continue to recover. Enbridge has over 40 different streams of cash flow, and a lot of them are extremely regulated so that they have long term contracts in place so that their cash flow is going to be sustained over the next years. Not only this, but Enbridge has actually raised its dividend for the past 26 years straight. So it has an amazing track record of actually increasing that dividend year over year. So that 7.47% is going to actually continue to grow as you hold the stock for years to come. And you're also going to get that price appreciation. And if we take a look at how analysts are rating Enbridge's stock, Currently, it's rated a strong buy. 12 out of 12 analysts who have rated this stock have all said to buy it. Currently, the lowest price target is $49. So from its $45 current price, that's close to 10% at the minimum. And then the average is 52, which you're looking at around a 15% increase from the current prices. And the high of 57 would give you that 20 to 25% appreciation in stock price. While you're getting that dividend quarter after quarter. All right, now that we've gone over Enbridge, let's hop right into the second dividend stock in the oil and gas sector. It's Suncor, ticker symbol SU. Suncor is currently trading around $27 per share. Suncor currently offers around a 3.2% dividend yield, which is pretty solid. And if we look at the last month, the stock price has actually started to soar. It's gone from the $21 range all the way to where it currently is around the $27 range. And if we look at the six months, we can see that it's climbing steadily over the last three or so months. And if we look at the one year chart, we can see that pre pandemic Suncor was around $37. And if we go back even farther, we can see that Suncor was steadily trading around the 40 to $50 range, which is incredible from where it's currently at. So if we can start to see a recovery back up to those levels, you're looking at massive capital appreciation while pocketing a nice dividend of 3.2%. I believe Suncor will continue its upwards trend back towards its pre-pandemic highs. Another reason to look into Suncor is the fact that the man, the myth, the legend himself, Warren Buffett, is heavily invested into Suncor. So if we take a look at the analyst ratings for Suncor Energy, we can see that it currently has nine buys and two holds, which is a strong buy overall. And if we look at the price targets, we can see that the low is $26, which is around where it's trading currently, but the average is up to $30, which would be around a just over 10% increase along with the highs, which would be over 20%. And remember that pre pandemic Suncor energy was trading around the $40 range. So there's even more room to grow. And if we look at the two analyst ratings over the last seven days or the last week, we can see that the price targets were $31 and $33. So the most current ratings are both above that $30 range, which would allow an over 10% increase in appreciation of the stock. All right, so the third dividend stock is in the renewable sector, in the renewable energy space. This is a sector that I think is going to see extreme growth 
over the next decade or so, along with a great dividend with this stock. So that being said, the third dividend stock is Brookfield's Renewable. Brookfield Renewables is an energy company, a renewable energy company that owns and operates a bunch of renewable energy plants and farms, whether it be hydroelectric, wind, solar, they own all of them. So they're a diversified renewable energy company that's currently trading around $51.85 per share. And as you can see over the past month, they've seen a really big hit to their overall share price going from $61 range all the way down to where they're currently at close to $52. So quite a nice discount currently. And this is one that I think will grow for decades to come. You can see the steady growth it had over the past year and that until it's taken this hit over the past month or so. So right now it's trading at a really nice price that I think any investor should enter position into Brookfield Renewables. And they currently offer a 3% dividend. So a nice solid dividend for a renewable energy company that is gonna see extreme growth over the next decade or so as the world moves towards more renewable, sustainable options. Brookfield Renewables operations are currently spread across four different continents where they own and operate over $57 billion of total power assets, and that's across 5,000 power generating facilities. So they have quite large operations, and they're well diversified, mostly in hydro, but then in wind, and just building up their position in solar energy. So well-established company with a great background and track record, and growing year over year. Not only is the company growing, but they've also been growing their dividend at an annual rate of 6% for the last 20 years. So the next dividend stock to watch is one that I've actually featured in a previous video where I went over the best dividend stocks to buy and hold forever. You can check that video out up here if you haven't seen it already, but this is a stock you're not gonna wanna miss out on the great buying opportunity that is currently being seen in the market with this stock. It's currently being traded at an extreme discount and I'll get into why. So dividend stock number four is Algonquin Power and Utilities, ticker symbol AQN. Algonquin Power and Utilities is a utilities company that also has diversification into the renewable energy sector. It's currently trading at $20 per share and has a dividend of just under 4% at 3.81%. If we look at the chart for the last week, we can see that AQN was trading around $21.80 and then it took a sudden dip down to the mid 20s and has been decreasing ever since. This has happened for a reason. It was released last week that Algonquin Power took a hit because of the storms down in Texas where it has a wind farm. Its wind farm has not been able to operate the last few weeks and has taken a little bit of damage. The damage is estimated to be in the 45 to $55 million range, a hit of around 5 to 6% of AQN's adjusted EBITDA. Because of the ice storm, Algonquin has taken a 5 to 6% hit, but its share price has dropped over 10%. It's dropped around 12% since uh, releasing that statement. So I think it's oversold right now. I think Algonquin Power and Utilities has oversold because of this news and is actually trading at a discounted price. If we check its long-term dividend growth along with its growth potential, we can see that this is an amazing company that will be able to sustain these slight damages and continue to prosper in the years to come. And I think right now is a perfect time to buy at these discounted price. All right, so the final and fifth dividend stock to watch is also in the utilities sector. It's Hydro One, ticker symbol H. Hydro One is currently trading at $26.77 per share with a dividend yield of at 3.73%. If we look at its past month, we can see that Hydro One has come down a lot in share price. At the beginning of the month, it was $30.44. And if we look now, it's now currently trading under $27. So a decrease in the 12 to 15% range of its overall share price. We've seen this with a lot of utilities companies because of the weather and all the storms going on. But if we look at the one year chart, we can see that it recovered extremely nicely from the overall pandemic. And then in the last month has seen this sudden drop off. This makes me believe that the company is currently oversold and trading at a really great discount for long term dividend investors. Hydro One is another company with long-term contracts and regulated utilities, meaning that they are going to have steady, reliable cash flow for years to come, meaning they'll be able to pay out that dividend reliably. The average analyst price rating for 
Hydro One is around $31, a 16% upside from the current share price. So you can see some growth in the stock while pocketing those nice dividends. So there you have it, five amazing dividend stocks to consider buying or at least put on your watch list going into March. I think not only are these great dividend stocks that offer great passive income, but they also have room for appreciation and are currently trading at a discount in the market. So with this being said, I at least want you guys to watch these ones, throw them on your watch list. I think they're going to be winners over the next few months to a year, and you're not going to want to regret it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it informative and you enjoyed the content, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content. Going to be lots more coming for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.